What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about the notion of examining your game, okay, examining where are your weak spots, where can you improve, okay, and how to target the areas to improve. All right, so I recently hit 1080 lay count, okay, 1080 chicks. And I remember I used to have the game uh, Tony Hawk's, <laughs> I don't remember the fucking name, 1080. Something 1080 snowboarding or something like that, where it's like literally going around one time all the way around is 360 and then 720 and then 1080. It's like three fucking flips. I had all these jokes during the late count progression. Like I 69 with girl 69 uh, for 300. We threw a 300 party where we watched the movie 300 and everyone dressed up as Spartans, <laughs> ate a Spartan cake and every slain soldier was a fallen young lady. So before we continue, please like and subscribe below if you have not already. Uh, please press the notification bell to be alerted of new videos Sunday through Thursday. Um, but yeah, the, the, re the reason why this is relevant is I was thinking, guys, I was talking to some friends and they're like, how the fuck did you bang over a thousand chicks? And it's really from this constant analysis of where the weak spots are and then iteratively improving. Okay, and I'll, I'll go over how to do that in this video. Um, and also, before we get into the content... Um, I'm committing to weekly roasts, okay? Those will probably be on Thursdays, okay? So with, on every Sunday, I'm going to be announcing who is getting roasted this week. And if you happen to have taken programs, I'm looking for hard, I already have a whole bunch of shit on these people that I'm, that I'm roasting. But if you've taken live programs with these particular people or you have bought digital products from them, or had message exchanges and you want to provide proof of that stuff or give your testimonial um, I will keep everything sent to me anonymous so send to John Anthony lifestyle at gmail.com people are like oh you're trolling you're just trying to hate on competition to give yourself an advantage no the fact of the matter is this industry is dominated by clowns this industry is dominated by guys that don't know what the fuck they're doing with women okay and that are not good at game themselves and they don't have many results themselves. They're dating busted average chicks, okay? And then they're trying to act like authorities and gurus, and they're putting out a bunch of content either to just milk you however much money they can, okay? And or, you know, just mislead you because they don't know any better, all right? And I see this time and time and time again. And what I want to do is not take out my competition one by one. I don't even give a fuck about that stuff because most of these guys aren't even doing proper advertising for their programs anyways. Um, you know, I could go on and on about that. YouTube and, and Facebook groups are small potatoes compared to paid at scaling up paid advertising, okay, which is what I do and what other, there's very limited people that know how to do that. I don't know how to do it all personally, but I have a whole team that does it. But the point is, um, I want to make things known, right? Like all these people are signing up for social prime programs and then coming on and, and getting fed drugs and, and coming out like emotional basket cases, okay? And they didn't get anywhere better with women and they, they went backwards, etc. okay? And those guys are running around the same city as me, Warsaw, trying to, you know, just rip off tons of guys on like $5,000 programs, okay? And the price keeps going up. It might be higher now. But that's useful for people to know about, okay? And I, I went over an objective review where we covered, and by the way, Social Prime's trying to, file like privacy complaints with YouTube and stuff. Oh, don't tell, make make it public that Chris's girlfriend got banged, I assume, because the rest is, I don't know, I don't think object, an objective review from a former employee would be privacy. But whatever, I, that's not going to do shit. So send me any kind of objective information you have, okay, or testimonials and feedback. I'll include that. So this week up on uh, Thursday, okay, is Squat and Casanova an Asian PUA coach in based in Las Vegas. I'm not going to get into all the stuff. Um, I will just say that there's a shitload of people unhappy with his training and he, he completely misrepresents everything. Okay. And, he, and by the way, I'll give you a little preview. He's claiming a hundred percent. Yes. 100% of his students get laid on program. Okay. And before we even get into that, I will note that I can't even guarantee that for myself on a, on a weekend. Okay. So what does that say? All right. So, the concept here, what you should be doing, and, and the way that I'm going to kind of instruct you guys to analyze your game for weak spots, is based on this idea of a green board. 
Okay, not green screen, green board. When I was working on uh, nuclear, biological, and chemical missile defense for the U.S. government for five years, optimizing speed of response against ballistic attacks and optimization to optimize the accuracy of response against ballistic attacks, um, we had, you know, there's there's this notion of like of a green board, right? That that, that helps, right? So a green board is used to signify if something is green, which means good to go, yellow is degraded, and red is non-functional or, or like extremely degraded, all right? So if you were to plot out the pieces of night game, for instance, opening and approaching, okay? Are you getting, is your interaction usually ending there? Okay, are you having lots of trouble on the open? If so, it's red. If you can open and you don't know what to do next, it's green. Okay, if your opens are like wishy-washy and like sometimes they they're, they're never really that strong. Okay, there's they're a mix of, of they're just kind of like so-so. That would be yellow. Okay, and you can plot all your game like this. How are you with pulling? Are you able to to regularly take girls home from the club? How are you with getting numbers? With getting phone numbers? How are you with getting physical? Getting makeouts in the club? How are you with keeping interactions going? How, with your vibing? Okay, how are you with dealing with cock blocks when the friends come in? How are you with isolation, moving the girl around the venue, and so on and so forth? Okay, how is your texting? How is your ability to, to retain girls and maintain rotations? How is your ability in bed? Okay, and I might in a future video like literally plot out all the different areas. And what you need to do is set those things green, yellow, or red. Okay, and green doesn't mean like okay, I've reached the pinnacle. I've I've hit full optimization in this particular area, and there's no room for improvement. Okay, even though even I don't feel that way about any of the areas of game, and this is what makes it so fun. There's always ways to improve, but you want to fix the red areas first. Okay, the green means it's functioning to some level. Okay, the red means you, that's a hole in your game, and it's causing a leak. It's causing leads to fall through, all right? If you if you can't open, like here's your funnel, here's all the girls you're approaching. If you can't open, the funnel is fucking closing. It doesn't matter if, and this this wouldn't be the case most likely, but it doesn't matter if you're good at getting makeouts or you're good at uh, being able to take the girl home because you're, you're not even able to contend, okay? Because you're not able to progress past the initial approach. So that would be an area that needs a lot of attention. Uh, another box would be how are you once you get the girl back to the house? Okay, how are you at running your dates? How are you with daytime pickup? How are you with getting matches? How are you with online game messaging? These are all components. Okay, what do you do back at the house after a date? What do you do back at the house after you take a girl home from a nightclub? Um, these are all components that go into the whole game machine, so to speak. And watch my five hour video, by the way, I'll, li I'll link it at the end. Watch my five hour video on total high level game overview where I drink a whole bottle of liquor and rant at the macro level of game. But this will really, really help you. And, and now here's another cool part that you can do. Okay, say you identify your red and your yellow boxes and all those, and, and I gave you tons of examples. Those are like the key uh, main areas of game. Okay, you can even put your hygiene as one. You can put your inner game, your internal mindsets and your beliefs about yourself and, and your negativity. Okay, your ability to frame control, okay, to modify the details and context of a situation to fit a frame or agenda that you might have, okay? But once you've identified the yellow and the red boxes, now you can drill down, okay? So for instance, like with pulling, taking a girl home from a nightclub, okay? Maybe you're bad at that, okay? So you make that red. Maybe you can get the girl to start going with you or to start considering things but then you can't beat objections, all right? So now you have a sub box called objections, okay? And in my product, I have 14 main objections and I give you, the, that girls give you when you try to take them home and the 14 optimal responses, just like in the movie Wolf of Wall Street, how he trains his sales team. And once you become a lot better at handling objections, as you're getting better at it, you're getting some success with handling objections, that turns yellow, eventually turns green. Okay, now maybe you can answer the objections and start leading her, okay, but now you're getting stuck because the friends are blocking you on the way out or she's hesitant at the door at the, the exit to the club okay or the the cab 
now that's your red spot okay and this is how this is what i did all this is what i have continued to do all the way through this is called optimization this is called evolution okay you take someone like mystery and he says and then this is very unfortunate he says like here's the system it's frozen in time it's it's etched in stone it doesn't change okay and you know regardless of areas that could be improved and that could be tested with data to have improved it's just that that's the system that exists okay and I'm this this isn't even talking about like a green board situation anymore but what's sad is based on new innovations that I try or you know just really thinking hard about the whole system and how it all fits together or testing out stuff you know like bringing dates to the house do you like wine red or white doing the sales decision close put I've like pushed lots of innovations into this and then pushed them out into the products that I've made and also given them away for free on YouTube to some limited capacity. Um, but with this, you know, mystery, the, the reason I bring him up, he's stuck in that system. It doesn't change. It doesn't move. Okay. I think a lot of the, the system was good, but I've evolved it. Okay. I've taken those areas. Once you turn the whole board green, then you can look at where the inefficiencies are. Then you can look for where are things suboptimal. Where are a lot of your leads falling out of the funnel? Okay, from the open to all the way down to the close and then to the rotation. Where are the spots that can be bolstered up and strengthened? Where where are critical junctures? You know, this all sounds very, very, you know, you know, almost like not even interacting with human beings. The point is, I'm I'm looking at it like a sales funnel. I'm looking at it from a mathematical point of view. And from a statistics point of view, and weighing probabilities and, and how each component interacts and fits with each other and leads to the end result. Okay, like in a neural network, for instance, in the brain, there's a whole bunch of different things happening at all the different levels, and then you have this output. Okay, and the binary is a one or a zero. The neuron either fires or it does not fire. Okay, and arguably you could liken that to the girl either fucks you or she does not. Okay, so. Um, you know, in summation, go back through this video, look at all the different areas I identified, write them out on a piece of paper and then, or, or make it, there's a software called lucid chart that I'm a huge fan of and you can use it for free. L U C I D C H A R T dot com lucid com, And you can literally make a chart and then you can color it green or red or yellow, okay, you can even use intermediate colors, different shades of yellow, okay, darker or lighter to represent, you know, how degraded. And then that's your that's your roadmap. That's where you need to learn stuff, okay? And if, if you want to fast track that stuff all to green, you can sign up for my live programs, okay? I have my email address in the description. I have guys, I have over 10 coaches running programs on every continent right now um, on a regular basis. So just contact me. We, we can make stuff happen in your city. I hired all the best guys in the underground community or my product. I cover all, all everything I just mentioned. I cover in extensive detail, how to most optimally and efficiently and effectively turn each of those red and yellow areas to green. But one more point about the mystery thing is, you know, he, he's running his system effectively, but it, his system is limited. Once I got the, my whole system that I'm running green, I always treat the boxes as if they're yellow. Okay. Not because there's a problem. It's still very effective. I was able to sleep with over 245 new chicks in between mid 2017, mid 2018. Okay. So it's, it's possible to sleep with hundreds of girls in a year with this system. Okay. It's very rock solid, but I'm constantly trying to meet people that can do any area of that whole machine better than me. And then I learn from them and adapt and test and then adapt. Um, I'm constantly trying to innovate and drive new things to beat different areas of it. Okay. In marketing, they call this split testing. You have your control, you introduce a variable with new, you know, hypothetical improvements based on theory and rational arguments and, and possible data that can support it in advance. And then you collect the data from the results. Okay. And once you have enough data or it's statistically significant, you can see if this indeed is a change that favors you know switching to and that's how you evolve and optimize the process that's why it took me 10 years for my first 100 girls and i lost my virginia in 2001 i hit my first 100 girls in 2012 and now i'm able to do 
106 months. Okay. It's just, it's like this telescoping phenomenon where it gets quicker and quicker. And that's because of how I did this, but you can, no matter what level you're at, you can really plot out where you're at. Okay. And really get a high level overview. Okay. And leave comments in the, the video. If you are unsure of like the sub levels that you need to work on based on a particular box. And I will list those out for you. The sub, the sub boxes for each of those areas, but be, be honest with yourself. Okay. Don't just think, Oh, I can, I can go up and approach just, I, I can get past the anxiety and go up and approach. So I don't have a problem with approaching. Are you mostly getting blown out? Are most of the girls not interested? Are most of the girls like kind of just, you know, talking to you for a minute and then telling you to fuck off? You know, that would be a red box. It doesn't matter if you pulled the trigger on the approach. That's, and that's where you would maybe segment it out. Okay, I have the balls to go up to the girl, but I don't know what the fuck to do on the approach and it never works out well. That part is red. Okay, maybe having the balls to go up to her is green. Okay, but that, that would still make, if any sub piece is red, that usually makes the top piece red. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. I think this is a very good prescription for you to find your own personal weak spots. Um, if you have questions about determining, you know, any of those sub levels, like I said, leave it in the comments. And please email me anything you have on Squatin Casanova, otherwise known as Mike Kiwi, um, Asian pickup coach from Pickup Alpha in Las Vegas. Okay, that roast will be on Thursday. Please like and subscribe below and make sure you press the notification bell. YouTube changes the whole notification system, but you will still get alerted of all the videos the most if you press the notification bell. And the more people that subscribe for because I can still see the stats over half of you watching my videos aren't subscribers. I'm putting a lot of time effort. I firmly believe this is the be best pickup channel by far. I'm not just saying that because it's mine. I don't, I don't see any other channels out there that are even close to the amount of value that I'm putting out. There's going to be a lot more infield footage coming, etc. We can grow faster if you subscribe. Okay. And I'm going to be driving a lot of our, our marketing stuff um, into YouTube subscriptions as well. So thank you so much guys. Uh, excited for Thursday. Michael, if you're watching this, be ready. That's Michael Kiwi, I mean, Mr. Squatton. All right, take care, guys. See you.